Okay, it's Friday. Definitely time for physics fun, even though we're in lockdown. I'm doing a little video on redshift recessional velocity calculations, which comes into the IGCC physics specification. Um, so we've got a problem here um, that we have the Earth, okay, and we have a source of light. Now it could be a galaxy or a star, but we think let's think galaxy. Um, so the galaxy is emitting um, light at what we would call a reference wavelength, okay? So I'm going to write down initially, lambda naught is my reference lambda, okay? Now, the problem is, though, is that as the waves come out, you can see what's happening here, that on my picture, because the galaxy is moving away, the waves in front get compressed, and the waves behind get spread out. So by the time it gets to Earth, lambda now is 6.3 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. So actually what's happened is we have got a wavelength that is longer. So when the uh, light arrives at planet Earth, lambda, which is the, the one that we see, so what you see, so that's the wavelength there. Now there's clearly a difference. I can do lambda, take away lambda naught. And that should equal, let's see, so we can do 6.3, uh, take 6.0 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Okay, well that's going to come out at 0.3 times 10 to the minus 7 meters. Now I'm going to call that delta lambda. That's my shift. Effectively, that's my shift in wavelength. Now, the way you, you could do a step where then you work out as a fraction, you could do the 0 0.3 divided by the original, the lambda naught, the reference wavelength, and you could work out that that is effectively a 0 0.05 or 5% 5 of the speed of light C. There's a difference. And then I could just do 0 0.05 times 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second and find out that my recessional velocity so it's moving away from us at a speed of 1.5 times 10 to the 7 meters per second or as an alternative I could write down slightly different so I could write my delta lambda over lambda equals v upon c and of course if we've done this uh, delta lambda over lambda like that it comes out at 0.05 and that would equal the v divided by 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second so it's the same thing effectively but what I've worked out there is that this galaxy it could be a star but we, we often talk about galaxies really it is moving away from us at that speed and that is a typical calculation you would need to do so thanks for watching and uh Happy physics.